Hello, welcome to another episode of The Sprint Lane. This week, brought to you by Cobbity Equine, who this breeding season will be standing Bling It On and Jillaby Kung Fu. Of course, supported by Harness Racing New South Wales and our Stallion Incentive Scheme. It has been a busy week on the track, so let's get into some of the highlights. And we start in Bathurst where Amanda Turnbull is in a seriously rich vein of form. Lady Angelita found a kick at the 125. Watto's Blaze of Glory won't go away. Look at Robert's delight descending. But Lady Angelita, too good for them. She's driven five winners, trained five as well over the past week in what has been a dominant month for one of the best in the business. Now, down in Wagga on Friday, the Russell Jack and Brad Hewitt combination teamed up for a winning double. This has been a really big run and a fast move to see are treacherous at the 50 in no danger of defeat and are treacherous too good a double for Hewitt. Brad also had a winner at Young on Tuesday with Stone the Eagle. Now Newcastle hosted two race meetings over the past week. Grace Pinella kicked it all off with an early double. Johnson Step trying to cling on. Blazing Shannon won't get it. Johnson Step all the way. Then Brad Elder drove a treble. But it is all flare up and flare up. Another winner for Brad Elder tonight. He was back amongst it on Monday. He drove a double on that program too. One race of note in Newcastle was the Woodlands Stud Lather Up Series. The mare with the fastest time in that series, winning a service to the world's fastest pacer lather up. Waiting for love in front though, was running at a furious tempo. Three smooches dancing in the dark, take me to the beach battle out the miners, but waiting for love. Yes, you might say with a name like Waiting for Love, the result was inevitable in that event, thanks to Woodland Stud for their support of the series. And of course, we raced at Menangle, and Tuesday's meeting belonged to young gun driver Jack Callaghan. Going to the leaders, has the courage. It gets about four metres clear. Better Romance tries to stay on. Down the outside, Sir Simon, but in front close to home, has the courage and did have enough courage. He drove four winners incredibly for four different trainers. A real show of the regard, Jack is held in by trainers in the metropolitan region. None more impressive than this for his primary stable boss, Belinda McCarthy. It's all Elder Baron Ravani. She's 15, 20 metres in front. She is an absolute powerhouse trotter and she bolts in 28 6 home, 153 9 the time. A huge win from Elder Baron Ravani in pretty slick time, too. Now, two of the best trotters she will come up against in the Inner Dominion series went head to head again on Saturday and we had a boil over result. Monaro Mia is steaming home on the inside, drop the hammer, goes up on the outside, hammer time, goes home the best, drop the hammer, causes a little mini boil over here and beats Tough Monarch, the long odds on pop goes down. The Inner Dominion Championship for the Trotters is really shaping up beautifully. On that same card, we saw Kiwi pacer Spirit of Anzac remain unbeaten since coming to Australia, making it three in a row for trainer. Jack Trainer. Arden's ace right off the track as Surfers Delight when it's all over, but when the line has reached, Spirit of Anzac wins it again. That's three straight. A special mention to young Leighton Green, who drove his first Metropolitan double for Dean and Kerry McDowell. Miss Daytona spears through the middle with Cherish the Memories, but going to the lead, Xanadu starts to draw away. Oh, Leighton Green's going to get a Metro double here and down to the line. Leighton drove another winner for the McDowell stable at Penrith last night when caught on the edge on a tight one on a night of close finishes, except for the seventh on the program when Jared Alchin's two-year-old gilding My Ultimate Cobber returned from a break in fine style for Chris Geary. My Ultimate Cobber now asserts its superiority over the field, comes clear. That's another Breeders Challenge eligible horse. Interesting to note in that race, the four two-year-olds taking on the older company finished first, second, third and fourth. So the future is in pretty good hands. Now the vision you're seeing here is Jared's My Ultimate Byron winning at Penrith last week. The fields are out for Menangle on Tuesday and the unbeaten budding superstar is nominated in race four. Keep an eye out for that. Now another thing to keep an eye out for is enrolments are now open for those that are already registered in the education program to undertake license upgrades. Now the great thing about that is it is fully funded, but you have to act fast. And I can't stress that enough. You've only got a week to get in and enrol in those four units. You'll have to go to the Harness Racing New South Wales website to enrol for that. We have got a big week of racing ahead. You can watch it all on Sky Racing. Please stay safe, adhere to all those health protocols, and I'll catch you again next week on The Sprint Lane.